Hi everybody! Welcome to my next stream series, Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Shovel Knight's a fantastic old indie game. It's a 2D platformer, kind of in the style of games like Mega Man. That's all the intro we're going to give. You'll just figure it out as we go, and I want to play. So we are going to start. We've got ten folders. We will probably be using all of them. Let's start a new game. There's Shovel of Hope. Plague of Shadows, Specter of Torment, and King of Cards. Uh, obviously, you want to start with Shovel of Hope. This is the main storyline. The others are all DLC. Shovel of Hope! This is where we actually, you know, play as Shovel Knight, but there we go. Oh, what is my name? Uh, well, I think you guys all know by this point. Yeah! I c we could type in the code to activate butt mode, but... I mean, come on, come on now. We're classier than that, folks. Body swap mode? Before you begin, would you like to swap the bodies of any characters in the main cast? Um, no, I, I don't think so. N n no. I, yes, I saw that, child. Please do not spam in the chat. Please and thank you. I have not played it. Might play it someday, though. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we're doing body swap mode, no. I think that might make it a little too weird, and I want a nice, normal playthrough to begin with. Let this play. Shovel of Hope. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all the heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. That's a lot of gold that they have there. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. <laughs> Great name, by the way. I love the Order of No Quarter. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. And all we need is a common shovel. Just like Mr. McGregor. Get digging! All right! And so it begins. I love this game because you get money. And you don't need fancy swords or anything like that. Okay. I see a problem. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, and it is a pain to pogo and move horizontally at the same time. Oh, fun. I could use the D-pad, but I mean... that's Yeah, I should, I should probably use the D-pad. I thought the stick would make it easier to do things like pogo while shoveling, but apparently not. Alright, now folks, we gotta get as much gold as possible. Not trying to get any fancy-pantsy achievements or anything like that, we're just, you know, getting as much money as possible. Oh hey, a bubble! Gotta pogo that way. First rule of Shovel Knight. Shovel suspicious-looking walls. It's a checkpoint. I love the checkpoint system in this because it doesn't work for the tutorials, but on future levels you can break the checkpoints, which means you don't get the checkpoint, but you do get money. <laughs> and we've got to have money. Also, folks, it's uh, in the style of an old 8-bit game, so do not touch spikes or you will instantly die. Hey, Potato, welcome. Oh, this poor dragon cannot survive the Poco power. Aha! Also, this game has a baller soundtrack. You know me, I do not play games unless... I do not play games if it doesn't have good music. And it's not even just like a, that's an instant turnoff, it's just the games that I like always happen to have really good soundtracks, by pure coincidence. Oh no, gelatinous blobs. Whatever will we do? 
Oh. Danger? Yes, please. Ooh, a secret passageway. I have not played Jazz Jackrabbit, but I have seen Simon speedrun it. So, I mean, I basically have. Remember, we gotta get all the treasure. From all aspects. Because you know Artie, he's a real money grubber. Okay. We're not gonna kill that guy right away, because we can pogo off of him to get money! <laughs> We can also swing our shovel in midair to cancel the pogo. It's very useful for getting money. Excuse me. Mr. Inklob, how dare you? I am the only Inklob around- Ooh! Ooh! Turkey! <laughs> turkey gives you full health. Ah, give me your money. Give it to me. Oh, is is it chicken? I am so sorry. Chicken's honestly better than turkey, but turkey's just got that nice holiday feel. And it is close to the holidays. Close after the holidays, but still. Okay, yeah. Actually, using the D-pad, not too bad. It's a little awkward to hold the controller, but it's much better than having to make do with the stick and its imprecise movement while pogoing, so here we go. Hey, Beta, welcome to the first arty stream of the year! <laughs> Ooh, the money! <laughs> yeah, that that is a mood. Oh, what's this? A skeleton guarding treasure? That just means the treasure's extra special. We gotta have it. Excuse me, I'm trying to shovel the dirt here, and you're in my way. A treasure chest! I wonder if there's money! Why, yes, there is. I know that, you know, Shovel Knight's going on this adventure to see what happened to Shield Knight, but, I mean, I don't see <laughs> I don't see why we can't make a little acquire cash while we're at it. <laughs> I'm going on the adventure to go get money. I want to get money so I can give it to the homeless and to charities. And the church, you know? I'm not grubbing it for myself. Okay, well, maybe I grub a little for myself. I don't see why we can't also enjoy some of the nice things in life while we're at it. But also, one of the dragons was able to fly off with money. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, all right. You live this time. You get to keep your money. Oh, you tried to knock me off a cliff. How dare you? I have done nothing wrong. No, my money! You, how dare you? How dare you? Well, that was rude. He was just sitting at the edge. It's okay. We got a recent checkpoint. So, as long as we make it back there without dying, we get our money back. This also means we get a second chance at killing those that dragon who made off with my money. Yeah, I demand compensation. Maybe this dragon will drop more money this time. Because something happened to him. No, he didn't! He's a little stickler. If we die again, then yes, it will be lost again. Oh wow, he literally just walked off a cliff. Whew. That was a close one. And this is where you do need to know the whole you can cancel a pogo by swinging, otherwise you're not getting that big boy jewel. And I like big boy jewels, because I'm a big kid now, and you're not. Get out of here, bots. The shovel is mightier than the sword. Because the sword can't scoop up all the treasure in this pile of dirt. <laughs> I'll save some time and sweep the dirt under the rug. Here we 
go! Oh, how lovely! I wonder if the Steam version has any bonus bosses. The PS3 and Xbox 360 versions had bonus bosses. The Wii U one did not! Wasted opportunity to not fight Mega Man, or Nightman for Mega Man. That would have been such a cool touch. I want my turkey now. Alright, here we go. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean coward! Turn back, Shovel Knight! There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. STEAL THY SHOVEL! Alright, time for the Black Knight. He also has a shovel. And a better color scheme. Alright, you know what? Wait, oh. Silly me. I need to be using the D-pad. Oh, how cute! He's doing his own pogo. But is it as good as mine? I think not! Oh, yow. And we get to take the Black Knight's money. Because we're the hero. And he's the villain. And he runs away like a chicken! Ba -bak. Well, that is perfectly fine. DX should enjoy her family. Ah. After a long day of shoveling money, it's nice to just rest by the campfire. I love the visuals in this game. I know it's 8-bit, but, like, it's really good 8-bit. Shield Knight! You didn't tell me you went to outer space without me! Catch her! I caught you! Uh, actually, I punched her in the face. Blah! Whew, what a nightmare. Now remember, always put your fire out. Feat accomplished! Only you can prevent wildfires! <laughs> I love the built-in feats for this game. Yes, always make sure you extinguish the campfire when you're done with it. We don't want to cause any forest fires. S do not disappoint Smokey. Do not. Woohoo! First level done. Co-op! Don't you want to play co-op? I, I can't play co-op with myself. Let's head to the local village. Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around! Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! That's no weapon, just a shovel! Uh, you may enter then, and don't forget, press the d up on the D-pad to talk to everyone. Alright, cool. I just love living in a village. It's the best! Cause no trouble, warrior. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Did you know your fishing rod can hold up faraway bags and gems out of your reach? Aye, it's the truth. Cool. I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of health. I've gotta get a meal ticket. Alright. Is that a horse in a fancy dress? You meet that old witch down in the juice bar? I think she tells fortunes, but she won't talk to me! <laughs> yeah, oh, this is definitely an homage to Zelda 2. Shovel Knight is a love letter to old games. Hail, traveler! I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets! My entire repertoire lays scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me and I shall reward you! Handsomely. Whoa! You have two music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for- Yes, please. Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found Strike the Earth! Oh, a Astonato Trumpet Triplets! Is there anything you can't render into pure magic? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you at any time! Just ask. He's the soundtrack of the game. Ooh, you've got a pretty face! You should come visit often! Okay, Molly, let's, uh... Let's 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 cool it a little bit. Hey, goatee, the goatician. Bad decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health, or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Sure, a thousand for a meal ticket. Visit the gastronomer to upgrade your health. Why, yes. Feat accomplished. First purchase. Okay, that's not a feat. That there's no skill involved in that. It's literally just like, hey, you did a basic thing that everyone will do. 
the bard makes comments and point he's the lead composer for the game. Well, he is! This guy's now dancing that we bought the mule ticket. A mule ticket! Hand it to me! I'll get to work on my best recipe! Yes! I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less! So, bon appetit and pardon the mess! This beautiful golden plate. Inside we have, I believe, a meat leg of some kind. And that was the best meal I've ever had, so my maximum health increases by one notch. Just like in real life. <laughs> hey, Magicist. Want more use out of your relics? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Oh, but no relics yet. What? I can't... You have to find some relics. Chester, down the ladder. He always has the weirdest things. Wait, what was I doing? Hmm. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Musician, or er, magician. Whatever, whatever your name was. The juice maid. Ah, a new face! Dancer acolytes, witches, goats, everyone's welcome in here. Well, thank you. Oh, that Spectre Knight! If someone could defeat him, I could would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. What's, what's the, what, why do you hate Spectre Knight so much? Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, woe is me, the king of nothing, not to rule but my lone bar stool. King Knight sits on Pride Moor's throne, that gilded goon, he'll get his soon. Aww. Grandma Swamp. Double trouble, soil and shovel, my third eye knows your useless infos. Excava excavatio, the number of dig piles you've dug is seven. Aram Infinosa, the amount of gold you've collected is 6,129. Thanato Refitotum, the number of times you've fallen in battle is one. Hey, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Temporum Perpetua, your total time you've spent adventuring is 1540. <laughs> I magically see all of your acts. Come back again for more useful facts. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I just, I'm giving Shovel Knight the Edgeworth voice. Deal with it. I'm not a witch! Well, you look like one. <laughs> Ooh, a secret room. You're lousy. How dare you? Oh, it's it's Mona. Uh, I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here. Shall we pass the time with a little game? I'll just need 100 gold first. Uh, yes, please. All right. I'll conjure up some things, and you can hit them toward the target for points, okay? Mona's gonna just chuck some bottles at us. And we can play pinball. Woo! They put a lot of effort into this tiny little game that has absolutely no Baron Song, like anything. One of those things you just gotta love about Shovel Knight. Honestly, the game's pretty well made, considering it's literally just a bonus. Oh, oh good, these fiends don't actually hurt you. That would be bad if they did. Dane, Mona, you're just doing this because you're bored? Alright, you got 218 points. <sighs> well, cover me surprise. Very impressed. Feet accomplished, juggler. And we get a music sheet. Thanks, Mona. We're gonna be getting a lot of feats, aren't we? <laughs> hey, Trotile Power. Yes, this is OG Shovel Knight. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. It is the best character in the entire game. Right here. No question. It's Croker. Hey, Shovel Knight. I know fiends are tough, but don't throw it in the trowel. <laughs> this is the best character. That key knight, you give him an inch, he thinks he's a ruler! <laughs> I traveled with him some horse adventurers, but they were all so negative! <laughs> I love how he does the little throat chuckle. <laughs> I was afraid as I jumped over the bottomless pit, but then I got over it. <laughs> I wondered why the Black Knight shovel was. I wonder why the Black Knight's shovel was getting bigger, then it hit me! <laughs> this is pure comedy, like, why, why do we even need to do anything else? We can just listen to dumb jokes all day. I'm sure your quest will pay off. 
I'm sure your quest will pay off in spades, hero! <laughs> Come on, these are funny. The Goat Edition? May he may feast on valuable meal tickets, but overall, he's not a bad fellow. <laughs> it's true, we don't have- I was expecting everyone to start redeeming the Boo voice command. But no, these are actually funny. Super skeletons are way too serious. They can't take a little humorous ribbing. <laughs> you call that entertainment? <laughs> Guys, I am in this game, and my name is Croker. I should do a cover at the front. You know what? Let's try it. Uh, the bard performs on the street because when he's inside, he can't conduct himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool! Thanks for the weird voice request. Time for a weird voice. Oh, thank you, text-to-speech. <laughs> Have I told you about the broken sword? Uh, never mind, it's pointless. <laughs> Plank Knight tried to tell me a joke, but it was too formulaic. He failed to get any reaction. <laughs> I love it when he does the, the multi-layered puns. These are the best. I talked with Mona the other day. Bad attitude. Breaking beakers everywhere. Such a vile woman. <laughs> That's an additional pun, because we're doing the Kermit voice. Because we're doing the Kermit voice. <laughs> Beaker. Beep, 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 beep. Have you talked to the juice maid? I tried to squeeze her for information. But I'm not sure she had anything pulpy to extract. My efforts were totally fruitless. <laughs> oh, Croker. I, I love you, man. I applied to be a triple acolyte, but they said my application looked fishy, so they hired me. Uh, the triple cane is a giant fish, by the way. If you if you don't get that one. Yes, Marty, this is how you're spending 2023. Uh, using a shovel as a weapon. What a groundbreaking idea. <laughs> Arrow signs are all the rage in the village these days, but I think they're on the way out. <laughs> I love Croker. I forgot what Rees was using as a weapon, but then it came back to me. He uses boomerangs. Propeller Knight can fly around using a bladed propeller helmet. Now that is cutting edge. <laughs> Everybody leaves the stream. Uh, you visited the nightclub down in the mines yet? A swing and abyss. Uh, how about the new hotel in the Iron Whale? I found their room substandard and the place was a wreck. The Iron Whale is a shipwreck. Uh, the Baz is a master of the rope whip. Natural talent. Or was he taught? <laughs> Marty, this is better than anime. <laughs> Thanks for listening to all my great jokes. I'd ask for a tip, but a well-told pun is its own reword. <laughs> Feet accomplished pungent. <laughs> yes, you actually get an achievement if you listen to all of Croker's puns. It's great. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me on that. Hello, fish friend. All hail the Triple King. Who? You've never heard of the Triple Keen! Half trout and half apple! Pronounced like mouthful! <laughs> oh, oh, I've been saying it wrong. It's the Trouple Keen. I thought it was the Triple Keen. <laughs> He's the one of the forest gods, here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth! If you ever visit the Sacred Grotto, hold your chalice aloft and the Triple Keen, or the Trouple Keen, will appear. Yes, Marty, this is what the Trouple Keen is from. As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell Trouple Chalices to believers. Would you like one? Um, I'm in the vessel for storing mythical Icor. Yes, please. Okay, before we buy the other one, though, let's talk to Chester. Psst! Hey, blue guy, you wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Why not have a look? Well, yes. Uh, fishing rod or the chaos uh, sphere. Why choose? Why not buy both of them? Fishing rod. Press up and hold. Okay, that's supposed to say B, but it looks like it says free. Cast into a pin and wait for a bite. Keep an eye out for those sparkly fishing spots. All right, I would also love to buy the chaos orb. And we got the quick swap. Cool. Uh, is there also another way to like bring up the menu? Maybe. Literally every button on the controller basically is swing the shovel. Uh, it is and it isn't. Time for a weird voice. Okay, what weird voice would people like to hear? Hoop Kid! Wow, Mr. Knight! Nice stick! Come on, let's play! Hedge Farmer! 
<laughs> Are you really the Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt. Okay. He's so happy! Wow, incredible! You really are Shovel Knight. Okay, who redeemed the weird voice, and what do people want me to... to do? I can't see who redeemed it. <laughs> if you're ever getting stressed out, try fishing! You never know what you'll catch! <laughs> you can stand on the Milk Maiden's back. It was Galadivore. Galadivore, what voice do you want me to do, or do I get to choose? <laughs> Water carrier. Whew, these buckets are heavy! Because if you don't have an idea, I've, if you don't have an idea, then I, I can do it. Oh, also, you can pogo off the hoop. You can also use the milkmaid as a platform here. And there's a secret chest up here. Definitely not here and do anything. All right. Well, I think it's time to do the Wesley Stickler voice. It's been so long since I've done it, and now we can go to the Trouble Pond. Good heavens! That is a giant fish! I don't think I've ever seen a fish this big before. <laughs> Who has awakened me, mortal? Dost thou need aid? Yes, I would very much like some aid. I sense a trouble chalice. I can fill it with a magical icor. That's pronounced icor. Choose your icor wisely. All right. Well, we can have the Icor of Renewal, refills all health and magic, Icor of Boldness, become invincible for 10 seconds, or the Icor of Fortune, absorb nearby treasure for 60 seconds. You all know what I want. I'm all about the money. And it's free. Subjects, a new initiate joins us. The ceremony shall commence. <laughs> And now we get to watch this giant fish do a dance for us. For like, two minutes. <laughs> totally worth it. You know, that's a, not a bad idea, Simpson. Maybe I should add that as a necessary part of the weird voice. Or you could just leave it blank to say, do anything. No, this is not as good as watching King Zora move. <laughs> I love hearing the wee sound. <laughs> oh good, he barfed into my <laughs> to my chalice. This is exactly what I wanted. Fare thee well, shoveled knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. Will do. Feet accomplished. The Trouple Ac Acolyte. Man, Trouple is a lot harder to say than Trouple, but I guess it makes sense if it's a pun on the two words. All right, folks, we could go to two different places. We could go to Pridemore Keep, the Lair of King Knight, or we could go to the Lich Yard, the Lair of Spectre Knight. We can do them in any order. King Knight is a little bit easier, but Spectre Knight gives us a better reward. I will go to either one. <laughs> Wee. Wee. Also, if we beat Spectre Knight first, we can then get access to this new area down here, but... What do people think? Lichyard, Pridemore, King Knight, or Spectre? Maybe the stream is a little bit behind. I also love the, I love the world map here. Alright, people are saying Spectre Knight, we're going to the hard one first. Cool. Get digging! Well, Spectre Knight has one of my favorite songs in the game here, and I love the atmosphere on this level. So we gotta dig these bushes out and then pogo off them. There are also these obnoxious toad enemies who electrocute themselves after you hit them once. Trust me, they can be very annoying if you don't know how to deal with them. <laughs> But if you can pogo on them twice in a row, it's not too bad. I also absolutely love the item you get in this world. We can desecrate these graves, which is always a lot of fun. Whee! Ah! 
Now some of those dinner plates are gonna have bombs inside them, because, of course. Oh no you don't. Get over here, you skeleton. I'm not missing out on that treasure chest. Oh yeah, this game has fantastic music. It's all, like, S-tier. <laughs> I'll probably regret breaking some of these checkpoints, but I'm a big boy. Even though I died on the first level. Excuse me, ghosty boys. Get out of here. I love the red, like, all of the red coloration on things here. It's really, really cool. Something's telling me I probably should have gone with the eye core of Renewal to get more HP, but... Pogoing that guy makes him a lot easier. Oh, yay, he dropped a turkey. Thank goodness. And I'm sure a lot of you know that I have quite a few Shovel Knight songs in my stream uh, custom music playlist. So it's no secret that I like it. And now we're starting to get into the intense platforming, where we actually have to make platforms and pogo off of them. However, this level does eventually have a very obnoxious gimmick that I hate. Oh, hey, we're here already! The silhouette aspect, where you can barely see, or you just flat-out can't see, depending on how things go. I don't like that part. At least the lightning flashes occasionally to tell you where stuff is, but not as much as it should. No, at least Blackout Basement, you could see the columns and some of the important stuff. Like barrels and bananas. Blackout Basement was always kind of easy. I'm not going to shatter that checkpoint, though. Because this next part is a wee bit dangerous. Ooh, 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 turkey! <laughs> yeah, this part right here. What we got to do, we got to pogo off of these graves. Oh, how lovely. And there's a freaking skeleton bro up there. Sometimes there are some normal-looking walls that actually have a secret behind it, so... Ooh, Ninja Gaiden 2... I played Ninja Gaiden 1, did not beat it. But it was that was a fun game. Just stupidly difficult. Oh, I hate this. I hate this screen. I hate this screen. This is the reason I did not destroy the checkpoint. It is so easy to fall off on that screen, but I want to get that music sheet. There's a feat for getting them all. Oh, these platforms are fun. You need two fiends to be sitting on this in order to make it start falling. And this guy's head and his body count as two separate fiends, apparently. Ooh, also, you see that sparkling fiend down there? This is where we're going to use the fishing pole. <laughs> Wait! Stay thy fork, knight! I bring gifts from the Trouple King! Oh, but you can't carry anymore! Come find me again once you have a spare chalice. Oh, okay. Um, I have a spare chalice. How do I switch? Oh, here are my relics. Icor Fortune! All right, here we go. Oh, hey, all the Trouble King, the king of fish and fruit, baby, along me, Stem. Hey, thanks for the I Core of boldness. I was kind of hoping that we could get, you know, the I Core of renewal, but I Core of boldness is fine as well. Oh wait, no, this guy's head is the only thing that weighs at all. 
Okay, this room is also annoying because there there is a beetle over on that platform on the other side. And if you are careless, he can absolutely push you into the spikes. Most of the levels in this game have some aspect that I... have some gimmick that I'm not a fan of. But it's still very fun overall. all that treasure. Doggone it, I hate bomb I hate it when I get bombs for dinner. Oh, yes. Yes, this is what I was waiting for. In the village or out of the field, I have all the deals. Are you are not going to believe what I just found in this chest? Wanna see? It's the phase locket. Escape from all harm. Briefly. This one is really, really good. Bro, hold up and press B. You can even walk on spikes when you use this. You, it will not save you from bottomless pits, but it will save you from instant death spikes. Which, yes, that's, that's exactly what I like. This better have a turkey. Thank you. I needed that. That could come back to bite me. That almost very nearly came back to bite me. But I gotta get that music sheet. can't keep that emerald from me. That's the Chaos Emerald. Oh yeah! Only two emeralds in there? Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! You can't keep that. You can't keep that from me. You can't keep that from me! fish there. There we go. It's a gold fish. We're $350. Yes. I love that. Oh, fake floor. Yes, I love that. Oh, yes. Big boy bucks. Wakey wakey! I want that money. I want that turkey. I want it all. It's the American dream. Probably should not have broken that, but oh well. We're living dangerously, I suppose. This part in particular. <sighs> My heart stopped a little there. Only a little bit. There we go. We did it. Okay, I will not destroy this checkpoint here. Because I do want the safety at the end of the boss fight. This is no place for the living mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time, as we saw with your beloved Shield Knight. Lies! I won't believe such talk from th phantoms! Your very existence is a vile deception! <laughs> the Enchantress is just full of surprises. She granted me new life, so that I may take yours. 
big words from Specter Knight. Specter Knight's actually a fairly tricky fight, though. At least to do quickly. You can't really rapidly attack Specter Knight. Unless that happens. I could use this Icor right about now. There we go. Shoo! Feat accomplished. I am alive. Bye-bye, Specter Knight. Specter Knight is a pretty big jump up in difficulty, especially when compared to King Knight stage. Time to rest by the campfire, nice and easy. Who threw all these jewels in my campfire? <laughs> Smokey does. Smokey the bear does this to make sure that you actually don't start a forest fire. Who dares stand in my way? Bunch of bots. Big mistake. Excuse me, Mr. Dragon. But this is not Dragon Tales, and you are not welcome here. Woo! No, my emerald! No! Oh, come on! He backed off at the last second. dare you. I really should use the phase locket more. Okay. These guys are just gonna keep swooping down until they kill me. Or I kill them. How dare you, you stupid guy. Stop trying to knock me off a cliff. There we go. You can beat Grim Reaper in Castlevania 2 by walking past him? That's hilarious. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. Forest of Phasing. Yikes! Spikes! If only I could phase away to safety, I could cross and get so much treasure! Observe. Yeah, so don't go in here and if you don't have the phase locket. Dracula's a pacifist in that game. Oh, I love the phase locket. Such, such a useful item. You gotta know when to time it. But it's still really good. Oh yeah, tw Twitch is great, isn't it? Watch out for the birders. Oh, thanks! The jewels both just hopped up right here for me. Oh boy, money and a music sheet! The bard will be pleased. Alright, we gotta head back to the village and sell all these to the bard. For 500 coins apiece! Look at that! We're in the six figures now. I can count. That's five figures. Whoa! You have six music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each! Yes, wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found Spin Ye Bottle! The client's only reaction was, oh, it's okay, I guess, whatever. 
Sorry, was it not brooding enough for you? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you at any time! Just ask. Now keep playing this main town theme. Ah, decision, sir! Can I buy another meal ticket for four? Psh, yes, please. A meal ticket! Hand it to me! I'll get to work on my best recipe! Yes, I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less, so bon appetit, a part of the best. What are you gonna make today for me, Mr. Gastronomer? It is... Oh my gosh, it is a giant sandwich. That was the best giant sandwich I've ever eaten. Hi, magicians. Magicist. Want more use out of your relics? Oh yes, of course. Um, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. 1500, boost your maximum magic by 10 points with this lovely tonic. I would love that. Can I do it again? 2200, yes please. We'll get it up to 5. Uh, 50. <laughs> ah, hello! I would love to buy your second, uh, Trowpel Chalice. Also, if you miss the phase locket or any every each of the main levels has a special item in it. If you miss it on that level, you can come back to Chester here and buy it from him in the town. We got the ghost of the music sheet. Do 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 do. Can I buy another meal ticket? That's what I would really like, but it's probably too expensive now. Six thousand, bruh. You're scalping these meal tickets. I'll buy this, then, for 2800 Even though I don't really use my relics as much as I should. Although the face locket is really nice. What are children doing playing here? I'm the fastest! No one can outrun me! I literally ran faster than you so I could catch you and talk to you, bro. The Grizzled Seer. Alright! Many trials await you! Don't despair. May each defeat strengthen your resolve. Bro, this guy looks awesome. Bagfellow. Turkeys and apples can restore your life. I just found this out, so I'm telling everyone. <laughs> thank, thank you, Arnold. All right, then let's go to Pride More Keep, the lair of King Knight. Get digging. I love King Knight's music. Actually, is this one of those levels where you can just go backwards at the start? You can! Boy, it's a golden fish. Love golden fish. Yes, I always miss the first music sheet on this level, because it's like, you gotta go backwards, bro. It's not that difficult. Of course, getting back can be a bit obnoxious. Also, make sure you, you know, destroy that on your way. Otherwise, you won't be able to get up. Yeah, this level is definitely less guarded than the Lich Yard was. You can sw you, I think you can. How much do HP? Well, how much HP do apples restore? Uh, only one or two, I think. There's also a carrot that restores a tiny bit as well. Gotta watch out for the uh, cauldrons of lava that King Knight has set up, that pour automatically and keep filling themselves. Always fish at the glowing spots. Oh shoot! I'm a stupid. I should have gotten some triple eye cores. I can only hope the Trowpel King will, uh, grace me with his presence on this level. Then again, it is King Knight, so... Alright! Just gotta wait for the Lava Pots. Cannot relate to that on any level. Take that. <laughs> yeah, you can reflect projectiles back if you shovel them at the right time. I'm gonna rob King Knight blind. He deserves it. 
No taxation without representation, King Knight. He's like, excuse me, I'm a keen. <laughs> wow, I am very surprised I did not take a hit there. No, I think that was the screen you were talking about. It's just a very precise hit. It's a lot easier to get in one of the other campaigns. This is one level where I'm pretty confident breaking pretty much all the checkpoints. Primor Keep has a lot fewer bottomless pits compared to the Lich Yard. Bro, you really need to bolt your chandeliers to the ceiling a bit better. Oh, hey, this convenient Shovel Knight-shaped hole in the wall. Um, there we go. How did King Knight get through there himself, then? What could be in the chest? It's Chester. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found. The Flare Wand. Conjure Fiery Blasts. Yes, let's buy that. Watch your magic meter. Now we can chuck fireballs. How great. Chester is everywhere, but he gives me new uh, moves. So this literally just shoots a fireball straight forwards, but hey, it's cheap, and it hits from a distance, so it's actually kind of nice. You're guarding something important, bro. I can feel it. Artie's got a sixth sense when it comes to treasure. Even though I missed treasure back at the beginning, because I didn't hit that one precise part of the wall. Oh no! I broke my way up to the treasure! Hang on. Oh no! Please tell me the dirt clods respawn. They don't. No! I was trying to do a fancy thing where I hit the helmet up and pogoed off of it, but I pogoed off it too soon. No! Oh, guys, I know exactly what to do. We are just going to die. We just got a checkpoint, and if we die, the dirt clods will come back. I give you the arty guarantee on that. Okay, maybe there's a quicker way. Is there a bottomless pit? Oh, there's a bottomless pit over, yes, right here. I just want to make sure my money will be grabbable if I die. Make sure you recover all that money. I, I will! Who do you think I am? My name is not Shovel Knight. My name is Treasure Knight. Oh, wait, no, actually, there already is a Treasure Knight. I'm going to take over the moniker, Treasure Knight. I'm more deserving of it. My role model is Scrooge McDuck. I want to be tougher than the toughies and smarter than the smarties. Here we go. Watch this not even be that great of a reward. It very well may end up that way. No, never mind. Look at all this treasure. We absolutely needed to do this. 100%. We must have our... Treasure. We must have our money. That is a big boy griffin. Now we can break the checkpoint. Always check behind the banners, folks. You never know when there might be treasure. No, the griffin died. And we turned him into a chicken, somehow. 
Wow, that was... That checkpoint didn't take him on the reach. Wow. So why are there... All, why is this castle being guarded by rats on propellers? It just seems like an odd choice of guard. And hey, if we pogo off of those flying propeller rats... There's a lovely secret area over here. And I do love secrets. Get out of here. I want that treasure! I want it! Yes! After all, I gotta, I gotta get the money back that I paid for buying this game on Steam. Even though I didn't need it, I bought it anyways. Because I am not as good of money as I should be. I should, I should spend this on more wise fiends. But hey. This is a really good game, and I'm, ha I'm happy to give more money to the Yacht Club games for them to continue making masterpieces like this. Doggone it. <sighs> More treasure out of reach! That's a bit of a shame. Yeah, take that. Aha! You always hit the stuff that looks suspicious. Or that's in a suspicious location. Ooh, look at all those emeralds! Okay, hang on. This room might be a little dangerous. I'm gonna just preemptively equip the phase locket, you know, like, just in case. Never mind, didn't need it. Hit the book and some mysterious stuff appears. Hey, Mobius is playing Hades. I know that guy. Feet accomplished, Master Angler. For some reason. Okay, I caught a bunch of fish. Wait, don't eat me, Knight! The Trouble Kid wants to do this! Oh boy, I core of boldness again. Look, I love the Trouble Kid. Hail the Trouble Kid and all that. But, like, couldn't you give me the I core of Renewal? That's kind of the best one. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, that's bad. That's why you don't break the checkpoints. <laughs> back to the start of the... Oh, no. You know what, folks? Since we're back to the start of the level, I can show off the thing that I didn't show off. I kind of forgot about the uh, fire part. That's the insignia for Yacht Club games. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to have some hiccups along the way. There are no game overs in this. You can run out of money and you don't get game overs. Granted, if I run out of treasure, I'm going to be big sad, but... Let's just get out that phase locket. Well, since we don't have to go down any of the secret passageways, because we've already been down all of them, it shouldn't take as long. I also do like the item quick swap. That's nice. It's weird that you can't quick swap to the I cores, though. <laughs> 
If I did a game over sound order, it would probably be game over. De he 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 from Arthur. That's okay, now we just get to speedrun, folks. Speaking of which, speedruns of Shovel Knight are kind of nuts. Oh, the disappearing and reappearing block puzzles. The first ones you try are going to be insanely difficult, because you're just like, what even is this? But once you kind of get what the what the game will expect of you, they're really not that bad. Give me a turkey. Yes, we cooked him into a turkey. It's like the turducken, but with a griffin. And we get a second shot at getting all the treasure here. Guys, this was actually strategic on my part. I did it on purpose. I did not do it on purpose. But maybe I did. Okay, see, here we are. See? Doggone it, one of those one of those bags is hovering under the platform. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's hovering under the platform? And I don't have my eye core of treasure anymore. Great. So we miss out on a big bag of money. Because the game said screw you. Whatever. Not a huge loss. There's plenty of money in this game. I broke all the checkpoints on King Knight stage. Hey, King Knight. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. <laughs> I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence! All right, King Knight. King Knight's really simple. He's got a very basic pattern. He just kind of jumps around in the same pattern. Oh man, no damage. <laughs> right in time for the confetti. Feet accomplished. Oh, I think that enemy got the point. <laughs> Double feet, nice. Bye, King Knight. Defroned. <sighs> but King Knight gets to keep my bag, my silver bag of money. Oh, this reminded me of a weird dream that I had. Shield Knight was falling from the sky. And someone told me to save her. So if you defeat the enemies here, you get a bunch of money. So that's pretty cool. And also, all the money we collect in this dream, we get to keep in real life? I don't know how that works, but alright. Put out the fire. There's a chest next to our campsite for some reason. It's a meal ticket! Visit the gastronomer to upgrade your health. Why... Was this chest... Did we just pick a campsite right next to this chest? Or did someone put it there after we fell asleep? You decide. Pride more keep is clear. And now we unlock the next part of the world map. Well, how fun. Let's go back to the village. Hey, boy. 
Bagfellow, head to the juice bar for fresh squoze juice, morning, noon, or night. I do love juice. Whoa, you have two music sheets! I just spat all over my screen. I love that. Take 500 gold for each. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found the decadent dandy. Curse you, Shovel Knight. You wouldn't believe how many revisions King Knight demanded. He's what we call a nightmare client. Croker is laughing somewhere. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it any time. Just one? I'd kind of like a second free meal as well. I will buy your meal ticket now. Feet accomplished. Hey, big spender. I did spend a lot of money. Two meal tickets! Hand them to me! A glorious feast awaits. You'll see. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less. So bon appetit without the mess. Alright, first one, we've got a stack of ribs. And for the second one, we have... It looked like a fish dish. But look at that HP bar now. It's a fiend of glory. Hey, child. See how I play with the hoop? Yeah. Shovel Knight knows what's up. Ooh! A chance to get more money and pride more keep. Oh no, an auto-scroller. Why? We were doing so well, Shovel Knight. Auto-scrollers suck. Uh, that was... You know what? You were right. That was a meal fit for a king. That is very fitting. Well, we got a huge amount of money. I like that. Auto scrollers are awful. The thing about auto scrollers that sucks is it doesn't make any sense. It was pri it was done primitively just because they like. Actually, I don't know why they started doing auto scores, but it's like, oh, you got killed because the screen scrolled too much. Like that doesn't make sense. I wouldn't mind auto scores so much if it's like you have to move at least this fast, but the fact that you also can't move faster than the screen demands is really obnoxious. I want to take the game at my rate, not the rate you think I should take it at. Alright, well, I think we have time for one more level. So I think we'll be heading off to the Explodatorium, Lair of Plague Knight. My favorite of the Knights of the Order of No Quarter, and also one of my favorite stages. Let's get shoveling. It's like a rundown chapel or something. I think this will be a level where the phase lock gets quite helpful. Alright, Plague Knight, your stage is a little dangerous. Also, watch out for these rats. The rats will explode if we hit them. I don't know what I want I don't think I want to know what Plague Knight's been feeding them, but alright. Knock that rat away. And there's a secret up here. I love the music in this stage, though. Mario World did not have many auto-scrolling levels. Mario Free did. Okay, I don't like the purple bird throwing stuff at me. Oh, a carrot. Rabbit would be happy. Doggone it, I didn't visit the Trampolkeen again! Keep wanting to visit him for his I-Cores. You have got to be kidding me! I literally was waiting there for a platform to appear, nothing was appearing, and then... That was a low game. You blatantly weren't spawning anything in just so you would hit me with that.
Illy, thank you for the raid of five and five raiders. Welcome. Thank you for joining in. We're playing Shovel Knight. We won't be playing for too much longer tonight. Okay, I hate these birds. JJ Gamer, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. We're just hanging out in Plague Knight's Explodatorium. Okay, this time, we're, there we go. Oh, what? Oh. Okay, that's not the part that, okay. That was my, that was my bad. That was my bad, okay? I, I thought we could jump on the ceiling there, but no, we couldn't. Why do I keep jumping there? That literally is just going to get me burned. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh-oh. Okay, Rat BQ, get out of here. Why is it always the birds that drop stuff on you? Why can't it be like a flying wombat that's dropping... I know, it's because birds fly. Although sometimes it's bats that are annoying. Looking at you, the Legend of Zelda. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, so there's only one platform that goes down here at a time. I thought it was as rapid as this one. Okay. Yeah, okay. No jumping on the ceiling. Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. I know we literally have died a bunch on this stage, but I'm breaking that checkpoint. That's a well-hidden secret. You gotta hit the rat over there. Wait. Wow, that's... That's kind of harsh. Wow. There is not much room for error there. They're demanding more and more of me now. <laughs> It's almost like the game's getting harder. Ha 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 ha! And here we go! I do like these guys with the Plague Doctor masks, though. Plague Doctor masks, pretty awesome. There we are. Treasure! Someone's brewing potions that can launch us upwards. That's nice. I don't like that weird rabid rabbit who is stalking us. That's a little disconcerting. Seriously, what are these things? I don't know, but I'm not going to find out. <sighs> we can pogo jump off of that guy. We don't want to break through that because we won't be able to stop. Here we go. Uh-oh, the armor guys are getting upgraded. Now they can do their own pogo hop. It's a fact that shielding enemies in video games are always annoying. How come that rat didn't get toasted? In the village or out of the field, I have all the deals. You have the alchemy coin. Toss a coin for a chance at riches. Sure. So the coin basically travels on the ground and will make money generate if you hit enemies with it. It's not that great, but it's fun. That's an interesting sound effect for this fame. Ooh, turkey! I, uh, there's nothing on, hidden on this side, is there? No, there's not. Okay. 
Sportatorium has some well-hidden secrets, so... Rats. Literally. Wasn't able to get up there. Maybe if you drop the potion, though. Okay, no, you're supposed... Oh! Oh, thank you, Ratty! I don't know why you respawn, but I'll take it. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't want you blowing the place up. This is actually bad. I want to get on the ceiling. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm not leaving here without the music sheets, and I don't want to restart the level from the beginning. So that will have to do. Oh, guys, are you ready for this guy? He has actually more HP than the boss of this world. Wizard turns himself into a monster, which has, like, more HP than anything, pretty much. There we go. And he doesn't even drop a turkey. Come on, man. Don't be stingy with the turkey. Oh boy, an apple. Yeah, that's the same thing as a turkey, sure. Yeah, sure, we nut. Oh, yes. Boy, stop giving me the i of boldness! I don't even like that i -core. It's only 10 seconds of invincibility. I can do the same thing with the phase locket. How come that guy doesn't take damage from fire? No! My Chaos Emerald! I'm gonna just, you know, get out the phase locket. I see that in the wall. Ooh, look at all that money. Look at all that money. I do, too. This level is pretty well designed. I like the music, too. It also is my favorite boss. Alright, bro. I really don't want you uh, attacking me. And I don't think that's too much to ask for. Lovely. Oh, no! It's the fake Shovel Knights, made of jello. Mm-mm, turkey. Man, the gooey Shovel Knights actually have decent AI. They're, try they're trying desperate... They're following me and trying to jump up to me. But they can't quite seem to get it figured out. Uh-oh, but they fi they're figuring it out now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello, Shovel Knight Goo. Woohoo! Reel it in! Ah, yes, my golden fish companion. Okay, I actually will keep the checkpoint here, because Plague Knight is a decently tough boss. Also, let's see, uh, we want the uh, Chaos Orb for this. He! Leave me alone! Show yourself, Plague Knight! Your trickery will not stop me! 
Trickery? <laughs> the fruits of my research are no mere trick. Boom! <laughs> now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise. <laughs> it will be enlightening! <laughs> Alright, Plague Knight. If you throw the Chaos Orbs right, it can hit Plague Knight a bunch of times. This fight is just nuts, and I love it. Bye bye. So long, Plague Knight. He's just all over the place with that, and doing that fight no damage is really, really tough. But not impossible. Ah. Uh. You know what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. I do too. Wee! All right. Uh, scoop up the scoop up the pebbles and oh wow, twelve thousand! Isn't that just lovely? Ooh, this is a bonus fight right here. North from Pride Moor, west at the fork. Oh bother! I must have passed it already. Well met, traveler. Oi! Maybe you can help me! I think I got lost. I was trying to... Wait a second! You're the knight with a shovel! Indeed, I am the, the knight with a shovel who has been... Menacing the village! I, I... I assure you, I have done no such... You gonna use that shovel to bury innocent people? You rear reign of terror ends here! <laughs> Bonus fight against Rees. He's got some boomerangs. This guy is actually one of the uh, boss fights added in as a bonus because of a Kickstarter donation, actually. There were, I believe, four Kickstarter donors who uh, donated so much money that they actually got their own boss fights included in the game, which is really cool. And Reese is actually on the difficult side. Bye bye. I like the chaos orb. Yeah, give me fifteen hundred dollars for that. I win. Do your worst, villain. Strike me down. I'm no villain. We're fighting a common enemy. We we are. But why didn't you say so? Wow, I feel like a fool now. Think nothing of it, friend. Knights are strongest when they work together. Yeah, knights code first vow. Always help a person in need. Knock him down, shovel knight. Thanks for the music sheet. Bye, Rees. Let's go to the armor outpost. Love the music here. Our scouts saw you approach, and we know of your quest. This is the armor outpost. The brave are holed up here, deep in enemy territory. It's dangerous. Get equipped. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, it's the opposite of Croker, Toter. I'm so grumpy. I'm just not in a good mood. I wish someone could cheer me up. Well, okay. I'll give it a shot. Um, why would they just leave the catapult unattended? The operator is out to launch. <laughs> he is not amused. He's like, I don't think so, bro. Ah, that's right, we can hit the hat shop door in order to get up here. Woo! Music sheet. Alright, up here there's a weapons upgrade and an armor upgrade. This be the aerial anvil. Need an armor upgrade. If you need something forged, I'm your fella! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so we have the stalwart plate, your original armor, simple but sturdy. 
Final Guard, drop half as much gold when you fall in battle. Conjurer's Coat, sacrifice some protection for a higher magic limit and harvest magic from defeated foes. Dynamo Mail, perform two consecutive shovel drops to unleash a powerful charge slash. The Mail of Momentum, heavily plated, keep your footing when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. And then my personal favorite, the Ornate Plate, flashy, acrobatic, useless. <laughs> yes, but you look so fine if you have that decked out. Well, lots to choose from. This guy has some good stuff, too. That's a nice shovel blade you have there, lad. But I can improve it. Unlock its true abilities. Charge Handle. Hold your attack to unleash a powerful charge slash. Trench Blade. Dig up a whole pile in one mighty motion. And Drop Spark. Glass slash to spark the ground when you're at full health. Well, I definitely want the Charge Handle. That's really good. The other two are much more optional. I think I at least want a piece of armor. I like the Dynamo Mail. That's fun. Aha! And I guess we can also get the Trench Blade. Aha. Oh, I, think, I love that. Yapper. Horns. The finest instruments. But they only really come to life in a duet. Okay, okay, bro. It's the airship enthusiast! I do say, sir! Why, I haven't seen such a decadent airship since I sold mine! <laughs> okay. Hey, lady. Oh, that keen knight! He's so regal! Such a refined fashion sense! But honestly, I'd rather be your queen. Well, okay, I'm not I'm not looking for a girlfriend right now. It's Mr. Hat! Ah, oh, hats! My greatest passion! Nothing I enjoy more than the crisp snap of a well-tailored brim. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a fine hat shop. <laughs> this is a tacky shop. <laughs> the peacock gent. With my vast riches, I could buy this whole store, but I forgot. My wallet? Oh, upstanding knight, you could part with a poultry for 1,000 gold. No, um, nay. Surely you're in a similar situation, friend. You forgot your wallet, too, yes? Um, sure, let's go with that. Leo, I only buy the best, and for my latest purchase, unfortunately, I'm only 1,000 gold short. No, bring your wallet! Excuse me, you have to uh, earn what you get. Not enough to loan me, eh? Come now, sure, I assure you I'm good for it. Oh, such a charming beret! If only I had the means to afford it. All I need is a mere 1,000 gold. No, I'm not giving you my money! Oh, such a lovely piece, I can't live without it. Dolly! Yes, you can. You gotta figure out the difference between essentials and <laughs> things that are just cool. Essentials and non-essentials. And Dolly, that beret is very much a non-essential. Oh, wait! Okay, one more thing we should do before we leave. It's another one of the Kickstarter bonus bosses up here. It's the Baz. Urgh! I can't believe this! Trouble, friend. Have you lost your way? Bought the best gear, the slickest armor, the strongest rope! Uh, uh, pardon, are you in need of help? Are, are you trying to get a thousand of my gold to buy a hat, too? Those stuck-up order of no quarter clowns have no idea what they're missing! Hey, you look like a knight! Shovel Knight, at your service. But I'm not in league with- So I heard that if you beat a knight, you get to take their title, right? Kill every last one of them! Please, don't do something you'll regret. I don't want to- The Great Baz Knight! Like the sound of that! They'll have no choice but to accept me now! Come on, let's do this! <laughs> okay, Baz. So Baz is actually kind of immune to the pogo jump. But you fool, we've got the armor now. However, he does learn some cool tricks. And he can shoot lightning out. Yikes. Yeah, Baz, Baz has got the moves. But you fool. I have the, the shovel upgrades. <laughs> and the armor upgrade. 2,000 coins from the Baz. Um, I've got it narrowed down to between two games that I'm going to do this weekend. No way! Not even my best moves could phase you! Well thought. If you can accept defeat like a true knight, you'll always have your dignity. Now they'll never let me into the order! Never, ever, ever! 
<laughs> if you want to know something really, uh, really cruel, if you pogo him now, he cries tears. TEARS THAT ARE MONEY! <laughs> we can't talk to Baz. Baz, I hope you find your way in life. The bosses in this game look really easy. It's also because I've beaten this game many times. So I am good at the game. But, eh, some of, the, some of the bosses are pretty simple. I also have some of the upgrades that make things a little bit easier. Alright, well I think that is a great start to our first stream series of 2023. Shovel Knight and... Man, would you believe it? We're actually a decent ways through the main campaign. Like, there are only eight main knights in this game, and we've already cleared three of them, so we'll probably beat Shovel Knight's campaign in, like, three streams. However, there are also the other campaigns, as well as many other secrets along the way, so this is going to be a fun stream series. I'm already really enjoying things, and I'm, actually, I'm glad I bought the Steam version so I can have the fun of unlocking everything again. This is great, so... I'm going to call it there. Thank you for joining in, everybody.